The ring general has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunther! That question Gunther has made an immediate impact since his arrival. A truly dominant specimen. And a specimen who is as ready as ever to chop clean through the competition. Hey, he puts others to the test, and they often come up short. He moves with such a purpose, absolutely no wasted energy. Well, that's because Gunther is saving himself completely for the battle ahead. Yeah, but he does manage to make his entrance as intimidating as possible. this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work non-stop. Well, why don't they get in the ring and prove it, huh? Uh, that's what they're doing right now, Corey. Well, good. Let's see what they've got then. The champ planning to show his dominance of this division with an emphatic win tonight. The Irish ace, ready for a fight. And from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough is an Irish nobleman who walks with an air of distinction. And tonight, he's looking to throw hands. Yeah, McDonough's been on a rocket launch-like trajectory ever since entering NXT. He has these chilling eyes just to stare stares right through you and he's able to dismantle all comers mcdonough possesses skills so far beyond you have no choice but to become a believer jd mcdonough is a competitor who changes the landscape wherever he competes Listen, he'll attack if he senses even the slightest fear or trepidation. Hey, J.D., J.D., fear and trepidation to my left. Look at Saxton. Quiet, Corey. Three superstars with one goal in mind, but there can only be one with their hand raised at the end of this triple threat. I've competed in multiple triple threat matches. The most challenging aspect is making sure you stay in the mix. Make sure you're always just an arm's reach away from any opponent. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Attacking the arm. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Kick finds the spot. He climbs into the ring. Clearly no love loss between these two with a display like that. Able to give him the slip. Gunther in a poor position. Well measured. 
This is some situation. Byron, what is going through the minds of these superstars? It is so important that these combatants keep their cool. When you're running on sheer adrenaline, you are more apt to make a mistake. I think these competitors will proceed with caution and continue to feel each other out to see who will go for the first big move. They're clearly not impressed by his opponent thus far. No! Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Just stretching out the arm. Shooting pain in the shoulders, the kind of thing that builds and builds during a match. DDT planet. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Disrupts the attack with an elbow straight to the mouth. was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Sure seems to be getting out of there in a hurry. A chance to get his thoughts together and regroup. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Target 
has said on Gunther, he's in peril. Itself again. I can see up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Drop kick. Going to her from behind. Looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Rare naked choke now locked in. He's got it locked in. It's locked in. Now would be a wise time to submit. Does he get it here? And the match continues. Nice Japanese on drag. Gunther wants to finish this. Gunther might just have it. We've arrived. It's about time. Disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. That was the best weapon in the arsenal, but it wasn't enough to produce an end result. What energy in this arena tonight. I'm getting goosebumps. Kicks to the face. Capped off with a big one. And a burst of offense from a battered McDonough. Not everything's gone to plan for JD, but he still has a chance to finish the job. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. To the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. You can pick up your teeth in the third row. Boom! I drop kick. Oh, the mark. Into the cover! Oh, he's still alive! The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality.
We've arrived. It's about time for the bitter end. That has got to be the one. Gunther sidestepped that one. Sleeper slam. threat victory some would call it quite the herculean feat he is standing tall standing proud and standing victorious after that battle gentlemen beating one other superstars no walk in the park let alone two Two guys who love to show off for the crowd. You're right, Saxton, but Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes also show up. Hey, you can't deny they like the showboat. They can afford to. They're just that good. Uh, no one is actually as good as these two think they are. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Trick Williams from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! I got to admit, they're an effective tandem. Two gifted athletes with complementary physical abilities. Williams brings the power and Hayes brings the speed. It makes for an impactful one-two punch. Rick Williams and Carmelo Hayes, both men who certainly get a reaction from the crowd. That's called the it factor, Saxton, and these two have it for days. A technical wizard, a high-flying genius. Here comes Axiom. And his opponent from Madrid, Spain, Weighing in at 154 pounds, Axiom! Well, as a child, Axiom was consumed by comic books and wondered if he could become a hero himself as a grown-up. Is that even a grown-up? I think there's a kid under that mask. Time to see if the calculations are correct for Axiom. are labeling Carmelo Hayes as the future here in WWE, and Byron, I think they might be right. Carmelo Hayes came into WWE as a pure raw talent, and now that he's put some time in, you can see him getting better literally every week. The future is a long way off, but whatever it is, Carmelo's got it. Perhaps taking his first step toward true greatness this evening. And he'll be taking on the superhero known as Axiom. For what he lacks in size, he more than makes up for in brains. He's a nerd, Saxton. That's why you like him. You two probably sat at the same table during lunch. Oh my God, face first! And shoulders are down! Not time to expect victory yet. Yeah. Down he goes. And Hayes is in command. Carmelo is just unloading attacks. A lot of ways Carmelo Hayes could seal this one up tonight. What's his surest path to victory? I don't think there's just one. Melo's talent comes from his confidence and vice versa. Hayes needs to trust his natural ability because it's an everlasting resource. Quickly slips behind. German suplex. Is it enough? He's not even close to being done yet. Knees up. Knees were up. All the breath taken out of their body with that counter. Put into the corner now. 
Get ready for some fireworks from Carmelo Hayes. Springboard leg drop. His shoulders are down. Great officiating as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Oh, God, that hurt. Uh-oh. Axiom reverses. Uh, using a suplex to set up a cutter. And imagine if his own move leads to his downfall. And the rope will force a break. Uh-oh. Suicide dive. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights up. Dodges. Oh, God, what an elbow. Boom, what a punch. Inziguri on the air. Step up, Inziguri. He's on his heels a bit now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Nice first off the knee. a bit let down that this is the way the match ended. Perhaps they should have tried to break the count at the end there. The Pit Bull has been released. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Ivy Nile. An endless supply of strength and determination. As tenacious and vicious as they come. Yeah, Ivy Nile's bite is much worse than her bark. Yeah, but her teeth are sharpened and she's looking for a win. This may be cliche, but it proves it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the fight in the dog. A competitor designed for comfort. And has a unique mantra of eat, sleep, repeat. And from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu. Wendy Chu, a woman who marches to the beat of her very slow, very quiet drummer. <laughs> on waking up everyone to her potential. I disagree. I'd say there's a 50-50 chance she sleepwalks through this one. We'll start with Ivy Nile, really one of the rising stars of today's WWE. Well, not everyone's cut out to be a superstar, but Ivy Nile built herself in a lab from the ground up for this business. She's a finely tuned machine with single-minded focus. No doubt looking to make major strides in her young career tonight. Well, if Wendy Chu doesn't take a nap into Dreamland, 
This one has the makings of an interesting matchup. Don't sleep on Wendy Chu, Saxton. She knows better than most how to keep an opponent guessing. Frankly, she might be onto something with her approach. She could prove to be a sleeping giant for all we know. She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. Great job anticipating Ivy. tossed into the ring. Complete control right now. Look at him. Oh, what a way to shatter an arm. Oh, right to the chest. Bullseye! Nobody really saw Wendy Chu coming, but she's definitely one to watch. What is it that makes her so dangerous? She keeps him guessing, Cole. Chu definitely marches to the beat of her own drum, but whatever she's doing seems to be working. I can't say I understand her thought process, but if I'm her, I ain't messing with what's clearly working. Oh, wait a second. Oh, cover. Shoulders are down. She breaks the count quick. She just shocked everyone in the ring. That's mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. <laughs> Stepping through, could be looking for a submission. No, establishing position. Oh, ouch. Wendy is unable to stop any attack. A killer instinct from Niles shining through. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Kavat Sleeper is in. Is it time to fade? I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. Couple of right hands and now it creates space and separation. Side headlock applied. Oh, good Watch. measure. Both are hooked for Nelson into the slam. And Chu could be the one sending her opponent to dreamland after that. Shoulders are down. Two. Near fall. Just when you think it's the end, she stays alive. What amazing resilience. Is this the start of a comeback? Can't put this one away even after that big maneuver. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. This match is wearing her down. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Oh, swift takedown. Taking out the arm, great strategy. Down low with the drop kick. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. She's into the ring again. And Wendy not at all worried about her right now. Cutting her off there, smart strategy. What a wrist plus suplex. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Oh, the reversal by Chu. Some further damage there. 
No question, Chu has what it takes to go the distance here. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! Oh, this is going to be nasty. Full Nelson slay. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. Perseverance getting the gritty victory tonight. This certainly wasn't an easy win, but she pulled it off. And in the end, that's all that matters. And Braun Breaker clearly ready for this one to get underway. One of the more impressive young superstars in the company today. Oh, yeah. Braun Breaker's aptitude at such an early point in his career isn't something that should be understated. Flattening his opponents is written in his DNA. Some could even say he's a genetic freak, and he's not normal when he steps into the squared circle. You're right, Byron. Breaker comes into every match with the agenda of decimating his opponents tonight. Should be no different. And then you've got the decorative superstar, Robert Roode, known to use every vicious trick you can think of in the ring. Roode will do... No. Somersault plancha to the floor. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. A powerful suplex toss. Oh. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Close fist connects. And Rude looked a little less than glorious after that move. Yeah, as that was Breaker unleashing that freak athleticism and power of his. Elbow drop. Piercing. Breaker was waiting on that. And the rolling next snap. Big four. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be pretty. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Robert Roode is full of confidence now, and he's letting the WWE fans know it. Getting back into the ring. And he's able to fight Roode off. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Torch of their opponents. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. He's feeling the effects of that. Take down. Look over the cross face. It's cinched in. This could be over. Submission. Get to the ropes, forcing the break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. for everything. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Powerless position to be in right now. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Oh, look at his aggression. Just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Now, this could put you to sleep. Second row. Two kick out. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Nice counter from Breaker. Ron Breaker setting him up for the military. Boom! Military press power slam. Breaker might have it. Kicks out. Kicks out. How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for him. And Breaker has to be wondering just what it's going to take to end this. How far does he have to go? For the win! Two! Kicks out. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Look out! Somersault plunge out of the floor. 
Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Oh boy, to the announce table now. Oh uh, yeah, gonna clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Nothing fancy there, spinning your noggin. And gets tossed back into the mat. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this. Ron Breaker, his strength on display. This is absolutely incredible. And that could keep you down. We're at a vital stage in this matchup, and this audience is fully aware of it. Yeah, they know another turning point to come at any second, and that can be the instant that ends it all. Kidding me. Oh, using the knee. Lives to fight another day. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Lifts him up down. Like being manhandled by a bear. Two. And he slides him back to the mat. for that one. Ooh, sharp kick. Lakers on the edge of the feet. Can he respond? Uh -huh. This DDT absolutely glorious. Rude stamping it into this. There's two. Raker defiantly getting his shoulder up in time. And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. From the top. Diving double axe handle. I think we know what's coming next. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Check out this display of power by Braun Breaker way overhead. The military press into the power slam. Amazingly executed one. Lost? What was I getting all those hallelujahs for? Practice? They say winning a title puts a target on your back, and here's a man who has stepped up to take that challenge head on. Yeah, he's braver than most. Superstars always say that being a champion is a... Penny predicament, shoulders down. Very soon to be going for a pinfall. Trying to rearrange the features on their face. Oh, that's not very nice. Oh. Face gouge. Oh, God. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Buster. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Great reaction from Santos. Oh, oh good night. Sorry. Oh, you ain't oh, kidding me. Back of his neck. You have to dig down deep to bust out something like that. Shows the hunger for a win here tonight. Right. Setting up. Out of there in a hurry. Great counter, impressive 
impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh, bolting down on the opponent. Corey, how do you plan for a superstar like Santos Escobar? Escobar has a hybrid offense, mixing lucha tradition with modern aggression. If you want to defeat him, you need to be able to weather the early storm and not let your guard down. He turns it around. He's locked up. DDT. Looking for an early pin. Gets his shoulder up right before two. Tried to make short work of things there. Taking it outside the ring now. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Set up for the side rush and leg sweep. Now he's been put on the defensive. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Clearly waiting for that. See the frustration starting to build. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Nice right, suplex. Vertical suplex. Punishing stretch. You have to protect your shoulders from hits like that. You don't want to compromise your ability to throw a punch or lock in a hole. There's one. This makes it. Ooh, what a nasty kick. This disrespectful. And Escobar didn't see that coming. Kick to the midsection. Twist that thing. Is it enough? Two. And he powers out. Close call. That was almost lights out. This is what you call high risk, high reward. We're gonna finish it off. Swan bomb. Escobar's in serious danger. The cover. Wow, just barely making it out. Unreal, unreal to kick out there. Not only unlikely, downright extraordinary. And you gotta think that all the plans are out the window after that. What great agility. Oh, I heard a snap. Axel. Pop. Right in the face. My God. Santos falling victim to an onrush now. He's weathered Escobar's hybrid offense and has not let his guard down. Don't do it. Oh, Iris doesn't pay off. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Oh, man. Nice. Snap suplex. He may be in a bad way here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Scoop slam. a count out and he tosses it back in now he's heading up top thinking big up high Cole's body looking for the victory two count on a two count to kick out again don't turn out the lights just yet block the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut First with a waistlock takedown. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Soaring. Oh, misses the mark. Not where you want to be right now. On the middle. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Jeff Harvey. 
This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. A WWE superstar with a very bright future ahead of her. Roxanne Perez looking to prove her potential here tonight. So, oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. Ah, uh, Black Widow. Locked it. Almost a miraculous escape. And a side slam. All right, that's it. <laughs> Tossed into the corner. Turned that one around. Straight to the face, staves off the attack. Oh, and uppercut by a lot of tooth. She saw that one coming. in the ring. You can't put her down easily, so how do you break through? Incoming! Agile movement. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. And she's able to power out after two. She won't allow herself to be embarrassed this early on. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Elbow smash! She's feeling the hurt here. Snap suplex. Reversal. Can she capitalize? Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. These two showing how well scouted they each are. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Into the corner. This can't be good. Great reaction from Perez. Right across the face. Uh-oh. Cross face. You feel like hope is starting to fade away right now. Things look bleak. She's able to escape. Just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Roxanne Perez. Oh, pop rocks. That can be Jade's eyes. It wasn't. Oh, she kicked out. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. A big opportunity falling through their fingers. You've got to continue fighting and hope your next big move is the last one. Shutting that down with the back elbow. Hanging back with their own counter. Oh, my God. 
She's showing incredible resiliency. That was a great opportunity to put this one away, but it slipped right through her fingers. Insulting. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Senton! We might be close to the end. There is no way this can go on for much longer. At this juncture, you have to wonder if these superstars can keep up this pace. They're certainly being taken into the deep waters now. Oh, look at this. She throws her back in. Headed to the top now. From the top. And she doesn't connect. Oh, round and around we go. Tilt to a head scissors. Super kick finds the mark. She hit the corner hard. And Jade's caught with a reversal. Elbow smash. A neck breaker. And somehow Roxanne is still able to produce more damage. The end for Jade can be served. Roxanne Perez. Pop rocks. Will Perez take advantage? Breaking work for this victory. Wins in WWE rarely come easy, Saxton, but this one was tougher than most.